Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Asia Mod. Okay, my cam is getting a little bit dark, so let me just quickly pause that. Um, all I have to do is plug in this other light quickly and then turn it on. That's too bright, too dark. Yeah, that should do the trick. It's getting a nighttime over here now after the last episode. But yeah, guys, what I want to do quickly is I dropped off a ton of stuff. Our chest over here is almost full. So I dropped all the seeds in this box just to save some space. Also, the buckets and the baskets and all that stuff is here now. Uh, we need to make ourselves a tetsu ball. But I want to use a crappy club because, I mean, this is going to turn into a level one. I want to compare the two next to each other. So for now, let's just craft this one. We need two rope. I'm actually glad I didn't get rid of the plants yet. Now with this, we can make some rope. We have the wood. I need to drop the wood and, or rather, first make myself some wooden frames. Uh, but it's a good thing I haven't done that yet because I keep forgetting to make more frames and we're running out really fast. So wooden club, that's level three. That's actually nice. We're already make, able to make a level three one. I think if you go a little bit more into bear, you might be able to get the level up a bit. Uh, let me just see. Damage, damage, damage. No, it's not this. I thought you might be able to make like a level four or something if it gets high enough. But we need to invest in this one as well. Tetsu ball we can unlock. And then to make the tetsu ball, what do we need? Uh, recipes, tetsu ball club. We need the metal spikes mod. And it's level 3. I thought it was going to be a level 1. Now my dogs are going crazy again. Okay, so that's, that's all we need. And then what else? What else? I think rope again, right? No, uh, 10 leather and that's about it. 10 leather, 10 leather. It's in this one over here. And the nice thing is we do have this work picture here, so we don't have to worry. The bad thing is we don't really have... We, sh we should actually start making this stuff. We don't have all these. We're going to need these. I think they're at the old base or the old town. Uh, by this forge, we do have an anvil. And that's if I'm not mistaken. I, I could have sworn we have an anvil there. So yeah, uh, let's just quickly make the teachable club. That's going to take four minutes. It's level three, so it might be able to take two mods like this one, which means... It's going to be better than this. It, sh it should be. The stamina cost is the big thing that I'm concerned about right now, actually. And also, guys, as you know, uh, you do get these things in game. They're not supposed to be in the game anymore, but look at this. So I want to run around with this, but you just know it's going to break the immersion. This is supposed to be like the old, old Japan. So we're <laughs> running around with a torch like this. Uh, when you can't scrap it like this, you know it's a vanilla item. Yeah, it's a little bit dark. We have to run with a torch. Uh, so it adds a little bit of ambiance. Um, I do want to add... The nice thing about this mod, the fire mod, is the fact that you can see at night and you can use it as a weapon. Obviously, like I said, guys, you don't always get the XP for it uh, if the zombies die from fire. But at this stage, we need to do something. So that's going to take four minutes. I wonder if I should just quickly run for the drop and see what's in there and then come back and do the rest. So for now, let's make 50. So that's nine more. We're going to drop the wood over here, and then we need to cut down more trees and get better stuff. But with that, we need better tools, basically. If I had a level 3 fire axe, all I'd need to do is then go and chop down a few trees and just put a few mods on, one or two mods, and go chop, uh, chop down a few trees. We should have the required mods, but we just don't have... I wonder if it's going to be better running through this place, over there, or running over here. I think it's going to be safe for here. Because the zombies still have to come out of the pure eyes to be able to get to me anyways. But yeah, now I've completely forgot what I was busy saying. <laughs> okay, so I just want to see. We've done this. This is the one we did last episode where we did the fetch quest. This one is kind of new, I think. Let me just make sure over here. I don't think we've looted this one before. This looks like it might be like the hotel or the, uh, the hotel, the restaurant, but it's a little bit different. And there's a zombie sleeping over here. Now let me just face it melee style. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Two zombies. Yep, yep. I don't know why they're sleeping outside if this one, uh, this place is a massive pure eye. If that's the case, we have to be careful. Because if these guys are just sleepers... Where's its head? Oh, there's head. Uh, if these guys are sleepers, then we're going to have a problem with this whole place. I thought it's going to be safer running through here because there isn't going to be as big a chance of there being any uh, wolves. But if the zombie sleepers are all over and there's dogs spawning in late, we're going to have a problem. 
but I think this is just part of this pure eye. Looks kind of fancy as well. Come on. Melee. Thank you. As soon as we have the Tetsubo Club, it should be way easier. But I mean, if the zombies are just chilling outside like that, just kill them. 3 XP. And this pure eye is also new. I haven't seen this one before. The more new pure eyes I loot, the better. So I really want to get the full experience of this mod before having to ever start over. Now guys, I keep saying start over, but it's not going to be for a while. Don't worry. Oh. Am I going to die from this? No, 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 no. Jump. Oh, no, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. My stamina, my stamina, my stamina, my stamina. Oh, that's way too close to comfort. And I'm infected. I was panicking so badly right now. Just gonna do this. Okay, and then while you're down the Oh no. Oh no. That could have been bad. I need to kill the dog first. See, that's what I was talking about, the dog just walking around. I think it was inside that PRI or sleeping outside. Either way, now I'm infected. I think we do have antibiotics, which is good, but damn, that was close. I thought it's another dog. I really hate some of the noises these zombies make. Remember that was like, oh no, not another one. I'm just surprised at the amount of HP I lost. I lost so little. This dog chewed me a few times, bit me a few times, and nothing. Uh, hello, hello. I want to pick up this dog's bones, but I can't if the zombies continuously running in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. While you're doing that. Okay, so as she charges me. Oh, there you go. Oh, I killed her. Nice. Okay, but yeah, um, I wonder if there's going to be another dog over here. Okay, no dog. Oh, something, it looked like it spawned in late just now. It looked like something was falling. Oh, that actually gave me uh, chivers just now. It really looked like something was uh, just spawning in from the top, like a steeple or something. Okay, at least if there's a dog, we should be able to get out easily enough. Come on. These chairs can't have nothing in them. They have to have something. Okay, also what I want to do, I want to go and use this one. No, no, this one. Eye candy before opening the loot drop. Because loot's loot. The better the loot, the better for us. No zombie behind us. That's good. That's good, 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 good. It bothers me how many zombies are on the other side of this wall. You'd think there's almost none there because it's really hard to reach. Come on, John. Watch out for more dogs. That dog caught me so off guard just now. There's another one of these sheds. So I just know there's going to be another one of those dogs. I don't know if it came from on top of the POI. Like if it dropped down or it came from somewhere else. Either way, I'm going to have to do this. And do this. Hello? I just don't want to get caught off guard by a dog, uh, dog again. Oh, yep, another dog. I was right. I was right. Okay, so yeah, before he destroys the ladder I'm standing on. Come on, I need to kill some zombies. Oh, zombie, you're so in the way right now. I'm going to kill this dog. If they start stacking on each other, I'm going to have a problem. But I don't mind the zombies. As long as I kill the dog, I can always... You don't tell me there's a ladder at the back of here. As long as I kill the dog, I can just jump down there and face the zombies. No problem at all. Come on. I want the dog. It really makes me feel like there's a ladder at the back. All the zombies are going to there. Come on. Thank you. Please tell me that was the only dog. There might be more dogs, so I have to be careful. Hello, hello, zombies. It's a shame we don't have a skill that actually gives us stamina back for killing zombies. Rewards us for killing with melee. Hello. There you go. I knew you were somewhere. I still hear a ton of sleepers lying around, so yeah, this whole place is a pure eye. Hello, zombies walking in the distance. So creepily, creepily creep. Okay, so block this off just in case. Guys, there's so much sleeping noises from the outside. There's definitely a ton of zombies just chilling outside. Which makes it kind of scary because no matter what you do, you have to be so careful right now. If you make too much noise... 
Oh, that zombie's outside. Doesn't mind. I don't mind that too much. Oh, hello. You almost got me just now. As long as there's no other dog, I'll be okay. The only thing that can kill me right now is a dog. And also, I am concussed and... I am infected, so we need to get back to the base as soon as possible. Oh, nice. That just did some double damage. Okay, no more zombies, right? Except the distance. Um, I, saw, I actually want to go check over here at the back where the trees and stuff are. But you just know there might just be another dog. I don't want to purposefully go and look for trouble. And I just I feel there might be a dog or two over there. Okay, so. Melee, melee, melee. Would have thought this place was so scary. It really didn't look this populated when we faced the horde here. I mean, I faced the horde here because it was so unpopulated. Now look at this place. Oh, come on. I wanted to get this face when it was uh, standing up just now. Her face. Okay, so I should probably walk to this thing. Because if I run out of stamina right now and there's even more zombies, I'll have a massive problem. Okay, my bow is almost out of quality. I need to repair that. Zombies, hello? Remember, guys, you have to keep your head on a swivel. And I want to see what's going on at the back of here. Hello? Okay, it's going to come up. Nice. And this one over here, also coming up. I love when the zombies actually come to me. There's a zombie over there and there's a cabbage. Oh, that cabbage actually looks radiated. But I love it when the zombies come to me. Oops. Mm. Come on. Thank you. Next one. As long as there's no dog all of a sudden, I'll be fine. And then guys, we still need to kill bunnies. I've only killed two, I think. We need to kill so many more. Okay, the zombies. That is a farm. Ooh, I actually passed the farmland. I'm not going to go right over it because you know there's dogs in the farm. Okay, that was definitely XP just now. Nice. Guys, I definitely love the fact, or I'm, I'm happy with myself for setting the difficulty so high. As you guys know, or oh, not difficulty, the XP. I was at 100% XP, now I'm on 150, and it's really making a difference. It's making it a little bit easier to just cope with the fact that there's no guns, there's no real resources and tools at the moment. Oh, we we have to so, have so such a high pick level and uh, axe level and then also skills just to get a little bit of resources. Resources are super expensive in this mod. Okay, one down. I hear something running to the left. No, something's fighting a wolf. No, that's a bear. No, 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 thank you. That's a bear. Okay, there's a zombie on this side. Oh, there you go. Because we can't afford to face a bear right now. Um, You guys know exactly how tough the wolves are, right? Now, bears have way more. I think they have double the HP. So just imagine using all her arrows just to try and down a bear and not succeeding. Oh, this is going to be on the outside. Outskirts. Okay, please don't tell me there's going to be like... Oh, it's on the roof. It's on the wall, so we're going to have to clear out zombies. But why does it look downstairs? I think it's definitely outside the wall, right? It just looks like it's on top because of the smoke. You really be careful of all the sleepers inside all of this. Yep, on the outside of here. I really hate witch chips in this game now. As you guys are aware, uh, for those of you that don't, don't know, basically, you were able to use this as a defense. Zombies would slide down them. But now they made it so that only you can slide down them. Zombies can't. So zombies are basically gods in this game. They swim faster than you. They can climb what you can't climb. They still, if, if they land on this and slide, they still slide. That's different. Oh. See, this might be a van uh, vanilla item, the drop. But the resources it gives are actually really great. And it's, it's not vanilla drop. Not vanilla resources. Okay, you know what? While we're here, let's just quickly see if we can't clear out this post over here. Be careful of any dogs. And we are infected. I need to remember that. Um, I think that the... Hello? And yeah, there's definitely zombies over there. I think the... What do you call it? Uh, honey. Might be able to kill... Uh, uh, kill. Cure us right now. That's what I'm aiming for. I'm just going to see if we can just quickly get back to the base and drink it before our infection gets too high. 
Okay, you lady come out here and then snakey snake. Down the stairs. Uh, of course. Oh, no. Oh, no. And we don't have any wood. That's fantastic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do you have a knife? Do you have a knife? It's going to be a little bit dark, guys, but I need to quickly kill these zombies. There you go. And then I need to destroy one of these frames for just that one wood, because that one wood is going to repair this for us. That was actually, that was a real bad thing. We, just, we should have actually checked that before coming here. I know my bow is super weak right now. Nice. Okay. Guys, sometimes when I'm playing this game, I just get shivers all over my body. You just know that one misstep can seriously, seriously be detrimental to your health. I'm just going to run with a frame in the hand. Just in case we have to be out of here. Come on, I need weapons. Okay, so club in the hand. You don't tell me there's a dog up there. The nice thing is we can't get encumbered anymore. That's great. Now we just have to focus on looting. Well, we, we can get full. There's a difference between incumbent and full. Uh, but at least now we can get more stuff. Oh, this might make a nice ward base, right? If you block off the bottom floor and they don't destroy... If you can make sure that you can see the zombies and kill them before they destroy the bottom. This might make a nice defense. You can see this was a barracks. This was a trader outpost. Not a trader, a uh, uh, guard outpost. Okay, so technically I could just run around the wall and go back. I think, yeah, let's do that. We can clear out the wall a bit. And loot the uh, buildings over the side. While getting back to the base. That makes sense, right? Hello, hello. One more time. Ooh. What's with that reach? Oh, okay. Um, There might be a vulture over here, so I need to be careful. But basically, I need to lure all these zombies with me. Ooh, this is a wandering horde. This has to be, right? You know, I want to kill all these zombies. Hello. Just hope I don't run out of stamina right now. Because if I run out of stamina with six, seven zombies around me and even more to come, that's going to be bad. But I mean, this is free XP right here. It's just a shame that it is nighttime and the zombies are a little bit faster than me. Well, not faster than me, but like their walk speed is jogging speed. But no, they are faster than me, basically. I can outrun them. But like this, they can catch me quite easily. And there's a wolf at the... Oh, that's a zombie. For the moment I thought I was the wolf, I was like, no, 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 no. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Rice wine. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, there's more zombies coming. The rice one's gonna help me with my stamina regen while quickly killing these zombies. I need to be careful that there's no wolves behind me right now. Come on, the crawler can't break my legs right now. I can't afford for the crawler to break my legs. Oh, nice. The rice one actually does help quite a bit. And the nice thing about the club is it hits multiple zombies at once. Nice. <laughs> that actually worked wonderfully. Now imagine we can actually do that every time, guys. Just drink a rice wine and then voila. Stamina regen. Yeah, I need to be careful because I know there are vultures sometimes up here. I don't want to come up this hill and all of a sudden a, vul a vulture just goes wah. Now, this is not attached for some reason. I don't know why that keeps happening. It actually happens quite a bit. Okay, so the sneaky snake I need to kill. Okay, these zombies need to come to me. I don't know if they can. I think there's a ladder over here, right? Yep. Okay, I wonder. Yeah, they're going to come to me. Uh, let me just do this so I can actually make it over. Hello? Yeah, down you come. Right over here. No, where are you going? They're definitely not clever. I want to have them follow me over here. That's why I'm putting the frames over here so I don't have to worry about them falling down and then having to go fetch them. Okay, you're gonna bleed up. Ooh! Ooh! Hello, snake! Actually gave me a nose itch just now. Guys, I love the fact that we have now a club that's doing way more damage to the zombies. And soon we'll have a Tetsubo, the, the upgrade to this sort of thing, basically. So soon we'll be able to do so much damage to these zombies, I can't wait. We need to work on our stamina. If I can have my stamina almost like the rice wine. Like you have so much it just insta regens. It's gonna help us so much. I need to hit both at the same time. Ooh, this sucks, this sucks. HP, HP. Or oh, the stamina, please. 
Thank you. I need to actually see how much have we leveled up. Let me just stand over here because we'll be able to see any zombies come for us. Oh, we do have a skill point. Nice. Um, Wooden club, Tetsubo. Okay, so it's unfortunate that I didn't wait for this to be level 5. Because now we can make a better level Tetsubo. But we still need another skill point anyway, so... I think that's gonna, that's gonna get the a level higher, right? Since the club was level 3, our Tetsubo is now level 3. So, all we need to do is work on the Tetsubo level, and the next weapons level will be even higher than that. It's actually nice that these are separated like that, because the zombies don't really want to follow you. So you can just run along the wall, and you're relatively safe. So many bones just lying over here. Oh, that's a chicken, I need a bunny. Here, bunny, 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 bunny boy. I'm actually concerned at how few zombies are actually on the wall over here. Usually this whole place is littered with zombies and vultures and stuff. But this thing's kind of clear. I don't know if I've just been wreaking so much havoc in town that they've come for me. Oh, I wonder if I've looted that one yet. There's a special chest right there. That's a restaurant. Nice. Okay, so if, I hope we haven't looted. I don't think we've looted that one yet. Because that means there's more uh, loot for us. Okay, so this one we can still use. First few sleepers on the wall over here for a while. Okay, aim a little bit higher. Thank you. That sneak bonus, guys, it's 2.6 dam or yeah, 2.6 times the damage. So that one shot just now is gonna help us not have to use too much stamina on killing these zombies. We don't want to run out of stamina while facing these guys. Ooh, that pig was hostile, but we have a problem right now. As you guys know, some of these pigs are the hell? I want to say hell. <laughs> um, they, uh, they're sus. Uh, they definitely, if you get too close to them, all of a sudden they just attack you. At least that's in Darkest Falls. I don't know about this one. I want to definitely try and kill it because that's a ton of meat. Okay. Um. No, I should first kill her. I thought all of them were dead. Thank you. It shouldn't be able to jump up here, but let's just do that. And I should probably repair this first. This is going to suck. I can't repair it. Because unfortunately we don't have any, uh, well, grass in us. We need rope. We might run out of arrows or being able to fire arrows. And then it's going to be a problem. If this thing breaks, we have a problem. Okay, that was an accidental pickup of a frame. So, um, yeah, if I accidentally picked it up and he jumped up towards me, that would have been my own mistake, my own fault. That last strike, though, that's such a waste of stamina. That was definitely not me going, let's hit it. I just did that on its own. But I just want to get up here quickly, make sure we don't run out of stamina in case there's a vulture. It's like the whole wall's zombies are on this side for some reason. The nice thing is, there does seem to be a tree really close by, so we might be able to repair this club uh, just by getting some wood there. Or we just do it uh, again by placing one frame or scrapping one frame. We literally just need one wood to be able to repair our club. Although technically you should use rope as well. Because you're basically splinting the wood, right? Oh, did I just kill you? That's definitely a death cry, but she's not, yep, she's not dead. I was like, oh no, I'm dead. Uh, leave me behind. Like, okay. Um, can't loot that for some reason. Hello? Where did, oh, there you go. I was like, where did she go just now? Oh, that was my mistake. Jumped a little bit too close to her. <laughs> We've got a real life ostrich here. <laughs> oh, that's, awesome. uh, that's the first time I've seen that one. Okay, so we need to be careful of dog spawning. That's right now we're at this uh, this stage where the only real threat to us is like wolves and dogs. And bears, obviously, because we can't kill them. But still, that's awesome. The fact that we've made it this far. The nice thing is zombies shouldn't respawn over here. Because we do have the bedroll down here. There's also a nice access point to uh, for us. And the zombies can't make it over to us. So we just have to do that, put this back, and we are safe. Okay, so now I want to test this out. And I want to see if I can add some mods to this. Okay, um, this one does how much damage? 20, but it's modded with two items, remember that. 20 damage, 23 damage. Stamina cost 20. So it's a little bit harder on the stamina quest. Oh, wait, wait, that's because of this thing, right? 
If you take that off, 23, 20, 17, 17. That's definitely way better to use the level 3 Tetsubo Club. Nice. Okay, so unfortunately we don't have that last slot. Guys, we can put one more mod on there. Ho, ho, ho. We're going to do some damage. Okay, so we'll put the weapons in here for now. I do need way more space. At this stage, guys, we're so encumbered right now. Okay, so that goes there. This one goes here. Do we have more rope? I don't think so, but we do have more plant fibers, don't we? Wait, did I drop the plant fibers after using them last time? I could have sworn we had some extras here and then I used them, but I, I, don't, I can't remember getting rid of them, did I? Okay, uh, this should go in there. No, it goes over here. I thought I placed it over this one to save some space. Drop, 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 and voila, four slots open. Guys, this thing really has to be awesome. If this is not awesome, I'm going to be so mad. Because after all that effort making this thing, uh, do we have hay bales still? No. I thought I might be able to use the hay bales to make some grass, and then with the grass do the repairs for this. Okay, so, uh, trader. Yeah, the trader quest is all the way over there, so I wonder if I shouldn't just clear up your eyes. If we can clear this whole town, but then again, the more quests you do, the better. And I don't know if there's any more special quests like the ones that unlocked all this awesome stuff for us and the map for us. If there's more of those quests, it makes sense to do the trailer quest for all first. What's forgot about this? How much does this heal? 5%. Oh, ooh, that was close. That was so close. That should heal me, but just. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I should really be careful of stuff like that. Well, then again, since it was so close to 5, it's still going to pick up while it's going down. So, I might still keep on being infected. Okay, so food, water, we have all that done. I should actually fill up my jars, especially since there's so much water on the map. There's definitely a ton of water. Okay, so let's just see if we can't clear a few pure eyes of here then. And I want to test out this club. I, I just have this feeling it's going to be awesome. Or I hope it's going to be awesome. At this stage, all we can do is hope. Okay, so we need some rope. I think there's eight per... Oh, yeah, it's eight per rope. That's why I'm so confused. We had 16. That's two ropes. We just need one to do the repairs right now. Hello? Yeah, just don't, I don't want to just drop in and all of a sudden the zombies have respawned. Especially with dogs and stuff in there. We don't want to chance that. I think this one actually had a wolf in it. It doesn't look like there's sleepers back in there. Oh, nice. That looks like it smacks him. One right click, one left click, dead. But that guy's usually a two attack, power attack guy. So I need to test it on more zombies to know exactly how more powerful this thing is. I think we've definitely done that pure eye, and now we just have to keep on going over here. So last time, if I'm not mistaken, we stopped with this one. Guys, we need to check for wolves and stuff. I know there's a bear in town, so I need to be careful of that bear. I'm just running here, looking up and down, left and right. I'm not even really looking around for bears. Okay, so this one we've done. This one over here we've done for a quest. This one we've done. So now it's this one over here. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, nice. I still have no idea whether this is good or bad, but so far it's not disappointing. Look at that bear. Ooh, if that bear comes for us right now, we're screwed. Okay, so this looks like we have not been here yet. I just hope we haven't gotten, uh, gotten the secret stash yet. Okay, so first off, repair this one. Then I'll do some power attacks. Oh, nice. It's always nice we can do some power attacks without having to waste stamina. Now I'm just going to run over here. If they come from all the noise I'm making, they come. Hello, hello, hello. Come over here. There you go. Oh, I'm going to loot this before you destroy that. Oh, you can actually hear the damage it does to the skulls. The blunt force trauma. Damn. Okay, I need to loot all these pots. And like I said, guys, this is a club. So this still hits multiple zombies at the same time. And it does seem to knock them down easier. I just hope... It's not going to be expensive to repair this thing. I just... Oh, I thought I killed him. What do you need to repair this guy? Wait, wait, wait. What did I just use? A repair kit. 
Oh, it, it uses the repair kit. Okay, so th that's what makes this expensive. The club, you repair with wood. This thing, you repair with a repair kit, which is really expensive. I mean, it's a great weapon, so we might as well use it. But we're going to have to switch to our club as soon as we run out of repair kits, which kind of sucks, because now we're getting used to the damage on this thing. Oh, I never realized there was a door over here. Or a window, rather. So basically, if the bear sees us over here, we have a problem. Come on, vultures. I know you're up there. Guys, oh, see, there, tea, le uh, tea leaves. That's why I was so confused in the beginning of the game. You do get tea leaves from this place. And I think that's why I got the majority of the first ones. Which is why I was so confused when I noticed, oh, when you guys told me, oh, you can just get it from the uh, bushes. Look at that. 20 tea leaves. That's why I said this place is the key. So at least I wasn't, I, I wasn't right, but I wasn't wrong at the same time. If we didn't get any tea leaves from this place other than bushes, then I would have been completely wrong. Okay, there's a zombie on that side. Hello. Okay, so unfortunately, wait, where's the pig? Usually there's a pig over here as well. Boom. Oh, just hear that. It looks like, it sounds like flesh or uh, bone and stuff just breaking. Oh. Yeah, we need to loot all of this. Texture bugging out of here for some reason. I wonder if the textures are overlapping and that's what's happening. Oh, I didn't know I didn't have that one yet. Nice. As the only thing we're really getting at this stage is um, recipes for food. It would be really awesome if we could actually get some recipes for other stuff as well. Like better weapons and tools and stuff. Okay, so now vulture time. I'm gonna do this. Oh, hello. Was the other one? It can't just be the one, right? It feels like there's all of a sudden just gonna be another one above me. I mean, if there's just one, awesome. Usually there's two or three. Come on, come on, come on. It hit shots. Remember, guys, you have to wait for that animation as they're standing up. It's the easiest way to hit them when they're standing up. He's going to tell me there's more vultures over here. Hello, hello, hello. So that guy's underneath. Man, this weapon's awesome. Finally, we're getting some really good weapons, really good loot. It's like we're finally getting into a strive. Into our, well, into our stride, or we're, we're hitting our strive. Stride. Strive. Anyways, we're doing good. <laughs> we're doing really, really well. Oh, empty. We have looted it. I want to be able to kill that wolf, but there's no way we're killing that wolf. No way. He's just way too powerful. With this amount of HP, there's no way. Your head's gone. Hello, hello. You just... Don't break my legs. There you go. It's actually nice that the crawlers are one-shot. And you just have to wait for their heads to swing a certain way and time it nice. If you time it nice enough, then voila. Easy kill. Okay, so unfortunately we got the final stash of this place already. Where's the bear? I need to remember where the bear is and then close this door. No, I should actually leave this open. If the doors are open, then we know we've done the PI. Although I should be able to remember, it's still easy to forget sometimes. It really doesn't feel like some of these zombies are really dying. It's like this tool or this weapon is basically the same as a wooden club. Even though it's way harder with the spikes. Okay, so next up is this one. Let me just mark this as next. I think I'm going to go back to the base and just drop all the stuff off. Although, I think, off camera, I'm going to run all the way over here. And then next episode, we're going to start with this quest over here. The more trader quests we do, the better. Because I really want to see if we get more of those special ones, like the ones that unlock the map. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we kill some more... I want to say Asian zombies. <laughs> as we kill some more zombies.